the simple life, you know, the simple life is the best life. Even when life gets tough, you can push through it, you can go over it and it always gets better. The thing I was uh, most afraid of before starting it, the albergue, sleeping, sleeping together with other people. Hi, we are Eric and Ricky. We not only walk Camino de Santiago, but we also help others in the preparation and ask them important questions. Today we'll ask, what life-changing lessons can you learn from Camino de Santiago? So my name is Michaela, I'm from Czech Republic. I'm 30 years old, it's the last day because tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> so I finish it till I'm 30. And I walk the Portuguese way, the coastal one from Porto. I'm a special needs teacher, so, needs so teacher. I teach here. Yeah, I have a class with kids with autism and mental disabilities. Okay, so my name is Lucille. I'm 36 in like uh, four days. <laughs> and um, I started in France and I've just done the Camino, La Voie du Puy, Camino del Norte and Camino Primitivo. How long was that? It was like 51 days and a thousand uh, kilometers. So my name is Jose. I'm 27 years old. I come from Mexico and I just finished the French way. You get to live a lifetime maybe encapsulated within one month, which is the time it took me. Probably the most intense experience and most holistic experience I've lived, I guess. Uh, I'm Tiago, I'm 42 years old and I just finished the Camino Central Português. It's like in the beginning, you see, wow, 250 kilometers will I hold, but it just gets better and better and uh, makes you wonder about something I read in a book. Uh, that was the question was, does the pilgrim does the Camino or the Camino does the pilgrim? So it kind of hits me during the Camino because you get like the Camino drives you. It's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a magical feeling. It's a magical feeling. I am Cristina, I am from Romania and I am 44 years old and I had my 44th birthday on the Camino. I had it in Logroño. It was a very special birthday and I did the French Camino. Maybe it's a premature question, but did you discover anything about yourself or about your life or about the universe on the Camino de Santiago? Maybe I can talk more in a more, the, the most superficial level, because right now I think that on, on a deeper level, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I guess, digesting or, or processing, but there was this time that this, uh, this lady wanted to, uh, she told me like, I'm afraid of the dark, please start walking with me. And she was being slow in the morning. I was usually going before that, you know, and I was like, no, I need to be patient, you know? And I usually don't take breakfast, or maybe I do, but she started making a, this sandwich for me and she made two sandwiches for me. I was like, I, I, I get something when, 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 when I give back as well, you know? So this, this exchange I like, it's not about, I wanna get things, but I, I, I try to give more um, when, I, when I start to think about this stuff, you know? When I really put my energy on it and I did want to, give something back, I receive something back, uh, which I didn't expect at all. And that has happened more than one time in the Camino. I, th I think it's some, something interesting operates there, I don't know. Mm. Okay, first lesson. Well, I think I still will need a bit of time to integrate and have more insights, but Camino provides, I think is a, a good lesson. Um, if you're just walking in with an with a open art, I had no problems whatsoever, always with no reservations. I always could find a place to stay. Like uh, when I was leaving Ponte de Lima, this uh, Swedish man said something which we could feel all the people we shared, Camino provides. And that's it, Camino provides, if you just go with a hope and heart, I think. I don't know yet how I will get used to living, leading a normal life again, not to take the backpack in the early morning. So I cannot imagine that yet. And, and uh, one important thing about myself, uh, the thing I was uh, most afraid of before starting it, the albergue, sleeping, sleeping together with other people because I'm a bad sleeper and an early riser and I, I, I couldn't imagine how I will sleep 
with many other unknown people. And from the second day, it, was, it became natural and I enjoyed it. I, uh, before that, I had been preparing to, to take private rooms at least once or twice a week so that I can sleep and have a rest. And when on the second week, my husband asked, asked me on the phone, no private room, and I said, oh, I wouldn't miss a day in the albergue. What are the lessons that you have learned on the Camino and you can apply, apply to your life? Um, that I need to stay um, in the present moment. I think that's the most important because I had to make a decision and like every day I was struggling, struggling and then I get this paper where when it was written, just stay in now and you will have the answer. So this one was really a cool one. Uh, that I need to continue even when it's hard uh, and keep going and um, I think yeah, that's the, the two more important. Yeah. And now I don't care how many men are sleeping around me, above me, in shorts. I don't care. I feel in safety. Me, with all my pretensions of having a private room and my own silence and bathroom and things like that. Uh, yesterday evening I was a bit sad that it's my last night in an albergue as a pilgrim. So this, this was a big discovery. Yeah, I think it's always uh, overcoming the struggle. Like really push myself to uh, fight with my demons in my head and just like go and push through it. And, yeah. Because you had blisters, you said, no, on this Camino, it yeah. wasn't easy. How did you deal with that mentally? Well, it, <laughs> it depends on like how I think important it is for you to just like finish it to really walk or how much uh, pain you are able to take in for this uh, thing. For, because for some people, I met some people and it wasn't so important for them to like really finish the walking, so they took a bus. But for me it was really important to just finish it, to don't give up and just yeah, go for it. Motivation. Motivation, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't find any anything so mystical at this moment because I, I didn't expect to. I, I, I don't try to find the, the mysticism, but I, I just find that when I'm in good connection with myself, uh, when I'm really aware, uh, things tend to work out for me. Um, and it, for me, it's always this, I don't know, like a muscle or whatever you can call it that I try to center back to, to that tune, you know, to that place and constantly things work out well for me and for others and some interesting things do happen like that that I cannot explain so easily some coincidences that to me they can be coincidences or maybe not but it, it, it's some things happen for sure and just the simple life you know the simple life is the best life i think that's the with your essentials you can be happy you know uh, and freedom is maybe not about everything because you need to follow the arrows <laughs> the path is you know well defined but when these these limits you can be free i don't know so yeah this simplicity of life i think is the biggest or the joy that you can take from the simple things and the simple meeting with people that you just don't know when you resonate yeah Will you give away all the clothes you have at home and stay to one backpack and wash your clothes daily? Nah. <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> I have to be there. But I was, I was telling my, my, my friend, I think when I get home, I will get rid of some stuff probably. Yeah. Was it hard? Uh, sometimes, yeah. And uh, I, I, I think I was very angry when I left. And uh, at the end, my heart were... Um, more open and able to to embrace people or yeah. so that's good yeah what was your intention when you were going for the Camino what was the intention you, you had well since I already done one Camino the biggest intention was to have uh, like this <laughs> nice vacation to just uh, relieve some stress in my head 
uh, yeah, to feel more connected to myself again. Yeah. Even when life gets tough, you can push through it, you can go over it and it always gets better and there is the sweet reward at the end. <laughs> <laughs> like here, <laughs> the cathedral. <laughs> Hearing those inspiring stories, you might be feeling motivated to start your Camino journey. Before you embark, consider joining us on a special retreat designed to prepare you both physically and mentally. Our retreat offers personal guidance, expert advice and a supportive community to ensure you're ready for adventure ahead. Sign up to secure your spot and start your Camino with confidence. Click the link below to learn more and register for our pre-Camino retreat. Don't miss this opportunity to make your Camino experience truly unforgettable.